final review test. Use the greater than, less than, or equal sign to show the relationship between the following numbers. Number one, 1,000 and negative 1,000. Remember, no sign preceding a number indicates a positive number and that numbers located on the left side of zero are less than numbers located on the right side of zero. Since 1,000 is located on the right side of zero on the number line, it is greater than negative 1,000, which is located on the left side of zero. Number two, positive 1,000 and the absolute value of negative 1,000. First, solve for the absolute value of negative 1,000 which is 1,000. Both numbers are positive. Therefore, positive 1,000 equals 1,000. Evaluate the following items. Number three, the absolute value of zero is zero. Number four, there are two sets of absolute value signs used in this problem. Solve for the innermost items first. The absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. However, there is another negative sign outside the innermost set of absolute value symbols that alters the sign. Thus, positive 1 becomes negative 1 again. Now we are ready to solve for the item in the outer set of absolute value symbols. The absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. The final solution is positive 1. Number 5. Negative 8 minus negative 3. Remember, a minus sign alters the sign of the number it precedes. Thus, minus negative 3 becomes positive 3. The problem now reads negative 8 plus 3. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Number 6. 18 divided by 4. Notice that both 18 and 4 are evenly divisible by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. The solution is 9 halves. Number 7, negative 5 divided by negative 1. Notice that both the numerator and the denominator are negative. Since this problem contains an even number of negative signs, the final result will be positive. Therefore, negative 5 divided by negative 1 is positive 5. Number 8. Write 2 thirds as a decimal. Simply divide 2 by 3 to obtain 0 0.66666. Notice the bar over the last 6. This indicates that 6 is repeated infinitely. Number 9. Simplify the following problem. 2 thirds plus 7 ninths. We must have a common denominator to add these numbers. Since 3 will divide 9 evenly, let 9 be the least common denominator. Multiply 2 thirds by 3 over 3 to obtain 6 ninths. Now the problem reads 6 ninths plus 7 ninths, which is 13 ninths. Number 10. Simplify the following problems. First, align the decimals and subtract 6.039 minus 12.92, which is negative 6.881. Number 11. 7 twelfths divided by negative 8 six. First, invert the denominator, negative 8 six, and multiply it by the numerator. Now the problem reads 7 twelfths times negative 6 eighths. 7 divided by 2 times 6 is equivalent to 7 twelfths. After we cancel the 6's out, we are left with 7 divided by 2 times 8 is negative 7 sixteenths. Number 12. Negative 1 raised to the 1,001 power. Remember that an even number of negative signs results in a positive number, while an odd number of negative signs results in a negative number. In this problem, 1,001 is an odd number. 
Therefore, the final solution will be negative. Since 1 times 1 is always 1, and we know the sign will be negative, the solution is negative 1. Number 13. 0 squared is 0 times 0, which is 0. Number 14. 1 raised to the 1 millionth power means multiply 1 by itself 1 million times. We know that no matter how many times we multiply 1 by itself, the answer is always 1. Thus, the final solution is 1. Number 15. 6 eighths squared divided by 6 twelfths minus 3 fourths. Solve for the items in parentheses first. Since 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is present in both the numerator and the denominator, the result is 1 half. Since 2 will divide 4 evenly, let 4 be the least common denominator. Then multiply 1 half by 2 over 2. 2 fourths minus 3 fourths, which is negative 1 fourth. Now our overall problem has changed. We look at it and we have 6 eighths squared divided by negative 1 fourth. Let's simplify 6 eighths before we go any further. 6 and 8 are evenly divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now reads 3 fourths squared divided by negative 1 fourth. 3 fourths squared is 3 fourths times 3 fourths, which is 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths divided by negative 1 fourth is our current problem. In order to go any further, you must invert the denominator to obtain 9 sixteenths times negative 4 over 1. Negative 4 will divide 16 four times, making the final solution negative 9 fourths. Number 16. The difference between 18 times a number and the product of the number and 5. Let n represent the unknown number. First, multiply n by 18 to obtain 18n. Next, multiply the unknown number by 5, which is 5n. To determine the difference, subtract 5n from 18n. 18n minus 5n is 13n. Number 17. Negative 3y squared minus negative 4y squared plus 16y squared. Remember that a minus sign preceding a minus sign makes the term positive. Thus, we have 3y squared plus 4y squared plus 16y squared. Adding negative 3y squared to 4y squared is y squared. And y squared plus 16y squared is 17y squared. Z. Number 18. Negative 3 to the 5th power divided by 6 minus 5 squared minus negative 3. Solve for the items in parentheses first. Subtracting 5 from 6 yields 1. Now we have 1 squared. Remember that minus a minus is a positive, thus minus negative 3 is positive 3. Negative 3 raised to the 5th power divided by 1 squared is negative 3 raised to the 5th power because 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 3 to the 5th power is negative 243. Negative 243 plus 3 is negative 240. Number 19. 2z plus 6 times y minus 4 times 8 minus 3y. Solve for the items within parentheses first, which is 8 minus 3y. 8 minus 3y cannot be further simplified because we don't know the value of y. Thus, our first operation is to multiply 8 minus 3y by negative 4, which is negative 32 plus 12y. Next, simplify the items within brackets, which is y minus 32 plus 12y. Thus, we have 13y minus 32. Multiply 13y minus 32 by 6 to obtain 78y minus 192. 
The final solution is 2z plus 78y minus 192. Add the following signed integers. Number 1. Negative 10 plus 15 is positive 5. Number 2. Negative 13 plus negative 21 plus 63. First, combine the numbers with like signs. Thus, negative 13 plus negative 21 is negative 34. Negative 34 plus 63 is positive 29. Number 3. Negative 17 plus 17. These numbers are additive inverses and cancel each other out. The solution is 0. Number 4. Negative 57 minus negative 13 minus negative 3 minus 8. Remember that minus and minus is a positive. Thus, minus negative 13 and minus negative 3 is positive 13 and positive 3. Combine the items with like terms. Thus, we have negative 57 minus 8 and positive 13 plus 3. Negative 57 minus 8 is negative 65. 13 plus 3 is 16. Negative 65 plus 16 is negative 49. Number 5. 19 minus negative 11 is 19 plus 11, and 19 plus 11 is 30. Number 6. Negative 2 minus 33 minus negative 21 is negative 2 minus 33 plus 21. Combining numbers with like signs yields minus 2 minus 33, which is negative 35. Negative 35 plus 21 is negative 14. Number 7. 0 minus 36 is negative 36. Negative 96 minus negative 26 plus 45. Remember, minus and minus yields a positive. Thus, minus negative 26 is positive 26. The problem now reads negative 96 plus 26 plus 45. First, combine the numbers with like signs. 26 plus 45 is 71. Negative 96 plus 71 is negative 25. 